YouTube, we are back with another career sim of none other than a player from out of this planet. You got that right, the Martian Jason Dominguez. We are doing a career sim for him to see how his career plays out, see what team he ends up. Maybe he doesn't end up on the Yankees to finish up his career. We'll find out today. If you watch my previous career sims, pretty much the only thing we do, we don't we let the computer do its own thing. Um, we're just gonna pretty much watch and see if he moves to the Yankees. We're gonna follow him. We're not gonna touch anything in this career sim for my sake and the Yankees' sake. I hope he's, he finishes his career on the Yankees, but we will find out today. So these are his stats going into year one. He is 20 years old with a potential. Stats aren't that great. Speed's pretty good at 68. Um, discipline is too. But looking at the Yankees roster, he's the number two center fielder in the organization. Uh, like I said, 20 years old, a potential. Now, I will do one thing since he is in the majors right now. We will promote him to the majors. Okay, so there we go. We had to get rid of uh, rid of Harrison Bader like the Yankees did in real life. And we did bump up Jason Dominguez to the Yankees, to the MLB, added him to the 40-man roster. That's it. That's all we do. We'll see how year one goes, and we'll check in after that. And what a blockbuster trade. The Yankees get rid of Anthony Volpe, arguably our top prospect above Jason Dominguez. I don't know about in the game, but in real life he was. For Zach Veen, what are we doing? Okay, now I don't like this move either. The Yankees are trading for a center fielder and Jack Sawinski. Hopefully that's strictly for a backup center fielder. We'll, we'll see at the end of the year how many games Dominguez plays in, but I hope that's not to be the starter here. All right, so we stopped. We figured we'd check in in the first year at the All-Star break. We are The Yankees are in first place, which is good to see. Let's see how our guy is doing in year one. And Dominguez has been demoted to AAA. How is he doing in the majors? Okay, well, that explains why they went out and traded for Jack Sawinski. Dominguez was hitting a 191 uh, in the majors. That's not going to cut it, although he did have eight homers, nine doubles, uh, 55 strikeouts, 29 walks. Not great, not great. We'll let the computer handle it from here. Hopefully he progresses so we don't have to even move him to the majors heading into year two. Hopefully he should be there. Uh, we'll see you at the end of year one. Another massive deal involving the Yankees. They get rid of Michael King, who's having an insane year, 1.89 ERA, um, 86 overall, young too, for Bruce Argaro, Blake Trinan, and JD Martinez. So they get a young relief pitcher in return, an older relief pitcher, and JD Martinez, still a good bat, but it looks like he's deep or uh, he's not progressing. So that is not good. I don't know. I don't know what Brian Cashman is doing in this game, but he is. Uh, I don't think he's going in the right direction. And blockbuster after blockbuster. This one not involving the Yankees. The Twins get Juan Soto from the Padres for Joe Ryan and a couple of just MLB guys. All right, the end of the year, you won. The Yankees do make the playoffs as a one seed, but again, this isn't about the Yankees here. We got to check out how our guy did. Jason Dominguez, um, 69 overall. He did go at five overall points, which we do like to see that a potential is uh, is crucial here. Um, it looks like he did get back up to the majors. His average uh, went up a little bit, so maybe he got up towards the end of the year in the September call-ups, but all right, doesn't even show AAA stats, so I guess he maybe sat on the bench the whole year. Um, um, not great for development, but he did go up overall. He'll be back with the Yankees. I hope. I hope. We'll see. We'll see at the uh, year two if we're on the Yankees or not. Go oh, hey, just want signed with the Cubs, and now the Rockies traded Chris Bryant to the Yankees for Steve Correa. Who the hell is Steve Correa? Chris Bryant, Zach Veen, Jack Sawinski, JD Martinez. The Yankees, uh, I don't know. They're, they're not showing any faith in J Jason Dominguez here. All right, at the beginning of year two, let's head on over to the rosters. Let's see. I got to think we're the starting center fielder this year, or at least in the majors. And we are still in AAA over Jack Sawinski. Come on, guys. All right, well, we're not going to touch it. We're going to see how the season plays out. Hopefully at the end of year two, we are in the majors and we are in the playoff hunt with Jason Dominguez. Okay, so we did stop at the all-star break here. I was curious just to see if anything happened on the roster. And some good news. We're in the majors, baby. We are in the majors, but for whatever reason, our potential is now a B, not an A anymore. So I hope that doesn't really hinder our progression too much. We haven't bumped up in an overall, um, but we do have two ABs here, one hit so far. So hopefully uh, Jack Swinski's out for once in two months. So we're gonna get some playing time. So we should at least have some MLB stats to show for at the end of the year. Maybe we'll win rookie of the year. Who knows, we'll see at the end of it. And in a shocker, the Yankees finished below 500 and missed the postseason but let's check on out the stats hopefully we stayed in the majors even though swinski recovered from his foot you got to think 
um and he did dominguez went up three points so there we go uh but not many ab's it looks like he lost his starting job as soon as swinski got off the uh il but he is going up in all of his stats which is good he is only 21 years old so we do have time there uh but we got spencer jones behind us kind of creeping up in center field so we're gonna have to make um we're gonna have to make a, a dent in this roster three right fielders zach veen so uh, the yankees might not be the best option for jason to make his long term we'll see what happens we'll see what the team thinks and see where we end up labor Torres to the pirates four years 40 million what a steal how did the Yankees like labor walk? All right, at the begin beginning of year three, as we always do, we check where we're at on the roster and let's head on over to the center fielders. And we are still in AAA. Jack Sawinski, you son of a gun. Dear God, we can't pass it. I mean, I'm just gonna bite my tongue. I'm gonna bite my tongue here. We're, we're creeping up on his overall, so it shouldn't be too much longer. We're our GM, Brian Cashman, puts us in the damn majors for good. Uh, but we gotta let the game run its course again we're not stepping in we're not gonna release jack swinski as much as i would love to because he doesn't belong on the yankees but we'll let the game do its thing we'll see you at the end of year three all right and the yankees are back in the postseason after missing it and finishing 500 last year um let's see how we did let's see if we made it up to the big league roster come on for the love of god okay there we go we are in the majors but we did go up overall okay and he did have actually a good year small sample size 286 but he did homer triple so okay that's what we like to see we are trending in the right direction again we were only 22 years old but jack swinski being 26 really is killing us and giancarlo stands in triple a oh my gosh he must be recovering from something that is surprising they they the yankees chose zach bean over giancarlo stanton in the postseason let's see how we do in the royals here since we are in the majors okay we got eliminated but let's see if we put up any sets if we got so many playing time okay here we go we did get two games in only bad in 143 but we did get some ab's in the playoffs so that is a good to see hopefully uh, more to come <laughs> i hope um we'll see what happens heading into year four and uh, what a massive drop off i the yankees have been third ranked overall uh according to the game and now we are 11th and i was it's funny because i was about to say you never see the yankees really sign any of these big free agents like when otani's a free agent soto like you never see him sign any of them in this game i don't know what's going on it's usually the dodgers or like i don't know like the bigger teams but it's never the yankees for whatever reason but let's see uh look as you can see on the roster judge cole rodon those are guys the yankees had we did sign gosman this year but he's 35 years old we signed him to a massive contract to 23 million i don't know why we keep saying we i'm not the I'm, I'm focused on jason dominguez here guys but speaking of the man of the hour let's head on over there we go jackson see sit your ass in triple a jason dominguez we are the clear starter in center field we got kyle lewis is on waivers no threat there so that's what we love to see we sh this should be our first season where we put up a nice sample size and show the league what we can do and hopefully generate some money and some rings for our guy this is never uh, this is a trade you never thought you'd see the royals trade scott kingery for Giancarlo Stanton and hey don't know Luis Ojeda maybe he's a top prospect but I know Zach Veen had a potential was a young outfielder so I don't know about this move again unless Ojeda's like a stud pitcher kind of questioning what the Yankees are doing right now hey, even trading away those guys the Yankees make the postseason whoa okay 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 calm down calm down wow okay we made the postseason we sweep the first two rounds a seven and oh would have been nice if we checked the stats here but that's no problem we'll go head on over here um as jason dominguez and jack Sawinski a call back up that's all right that's all right let's see how we did th this year bad only 222 but we played 101 games um you'd like to see the average higher on base percentage is okay at 330 up around 330 uh but six homers and 222 average is not really gonna cut it um jack swinski had a much better year so that's why i got the plan down let's see if we're gonna win a ring for jason dominguez here as we head on into the brave series we lose game one there we go we split that up to one okay tied it up two two we are now three two can we win a ring for jason dominguez in year four three three game seven jose your quitty i believe that's how you pronounce it can we do it we do five one we win the world series let's see how our guy did in his first taste of the world series here uh jack swinski had a hell of a postseason 15 ribbies oh my lord 
Wow, there is no way. Okay, we only got in two games, five at bats. How is Jack Swinski turning into like an MVP candidate in this game? Of all guys we traded for, he takes Dominguez to the spot. This is insane. All right, heading into the year five, you can tell the team is definitely better on paper, which you love to see. And you know what? I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not going to step in, but I'm so sick of seeing Jack Swinski take away PT from our guy. This is the Jason Dominguez video. He's in the majors. He's a starting center field of the Yankees. Get the hell off the team, Jack Swinski. I don't even care. Doesn't for excitement. Someone claim him. There we go. We're, we're paving the way. We need a full season with this guy. We need him to progress. I'm sick of these half AB seasons. We need to get this career going already. Okay, and God damn you, Brian Cashman. We got rid of Jack Swinski. Year was going great. And now we acquire a center field in Trent Grisham. 85 overall, nonetheless. So I'm going to stop simulating here. I'm That kind of worries me that <laughs> Dominguez must have been not playing well. Let's see how he was doing. He's ice cold with the snowflake. But he, 282? And we're trading for a center fielder? 282, 375 on base percentage? What are we doing here? What are we doing here as Judge is dropping off significantly at 92 overall? May, and Oswaldo Cabrera, Jesus, is back on the IL. Maybe we get some get some ABs just strictly based off of depth? But <laughs> am I going to have to every year just get rid of all the center fielders Cashman keeps bringing in for us? All right, we barely squeaked into the postseason. I think we got into the wild card spot. Let's see if we finish out the year um, in our center field spot. Trent Grisham finished ice cold and Dominguez. Okay, had a pretty good year. He only played in like 12 or 15 games after we checked him at the all-star break because of Trent Grisham, but a solid year. Now he is 24. He is an 80 overall. Trent Grisham had a pretty good year too. I, I hate to say it, 28 homers, 19 stolen bases. So we got a lot of, lot of center field this year. And what the f Jack Swinski's back on the team? This guy won't leave. This guy won't leave. We got Jack Swinski, we got Spencer Jones. We have a ton of depth behind us. I, I don't even know how many years we have. Are we even close to being a free agent or did we get signed to a massive contract? Okay, it looks like this might be the last year. So maybe we'll get shipped or we'll sign somewhere else. We'll have to see heading on into year six. Wow, this is a big deal. The Rangers trade Josh Young to the Yankees for Orville Gray and Yoandris Gomez. Now, I, I assume Josh Young's as good as he is in real life in this game that's a massive deal whoa and uh, the yankees making a monster splash in free agency first josh young and now bobby witt 27 years old the yankees are building something here so i hope we're still on the squad we have to see heading on into year six or seven let's check out the roster but wow that is a massive splash they are all in on this team okay we still are on the team here so we might we want our arbitration case case i guess or they signed us to a one-year deal which is kind of annoying i don't know what we're gonna have to do I, we might have to get rid of just we might have to get rid of both these guys i hate to do it i hate to do it. they're they're ru the yankees are ruining our this video <laughs> i mean i hate to say it, they are ruining this video so we're just gonna do it we're gonna step in and see ya goodbye take you off there just release him okay there we go we have paved the way uh hopefully nothing happens hopefully jack swinski doesn't end up back on the team hopefully we don't trade to for the center fielder because in, i mean dominguez has shown he's capable he had a good year last year in the ABs he had and this is already one two three four five year six for him the guy's not getting any younger we need some playing time and we need to get this video going already did i just skip over the message where this it just said the blue jays traded harrison bader to the yankees you gotta be shitting me game we got harrison bader back is and jack swinski's back can't get rid of this guy we're gonna keep doing this get out of here you're just wasting your time we'll keep bader not really a threat i guess we do need a backup center fielder but come on game let us let's get some playing time for the love of god all right we missed the playoffs for only dominguez's second year of him being in the majors let's check head on over Okay, he did finish the year as a starting center fielder, it looked like. And he had a pretty good year, but he only played 52 games because Spencer Jones got some playing time in center field. All right, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I don't know what to do. Uh, this game hates Jason Dominguez. Okay, and we just traded Josh Young, who had a 31 homer, 90 ribby, 10 steals for two 30-year-old guys. Oh, talk about a splash. First Bobby Witt, we get rid of Josh Young. The Yankees land Ronald Acuna. 35 mil a year putting up still insane stats at the age of 31 we're gonna have to check out how he's been doing over the past couple of years now that he's on the squad although we just traded jose your as well 
Uh, so this, we are wheeling and dealing right now. I, I, I'm i hoping to make it to sell on the Yankees with Acuna here. This is a prime opportunity for some rings. But somehow the Yankees are still 10th, even with those signings. Acuna, Yuri Perez, Bobby Witt, Alejandro Kirk. Let's head on over to the center field. And I swear, if I see Jack Sawinski, I'm going to lose my sh Okay, we have two 34-year-olds in the majors, and that worries me. We're a little better overall-wise, but just so much center field depth. We got Acuna and Judge and right. We got, I mean, no one left. I mean, look at this guy. Stuart Fairchild. You're not going to cut it, buddy. But the Yankees have a nice little squad, nice little lineup. So we're going to check in at the All-Star break. We'll see how Dominguez is doing. Um, I, just give him some A-Bs game. We just traded Aaron Judge. And I skipped over it as I have a bad habit of doing the Yankees just traded Aaron Judge for some random pitcher. Okay, we are at the All-Star break. We're three games under 500, which is garbaggio with the squad we have but okay we're on the il but we're having a shit year broken ankle we're out one to two months and spencer jones our competition right here tearing it up okay the yankees make the postseason okay all right calm down go, 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 go. okay calm down all right i think we just got eliminated yep okay we did but let's see how dominguez did we should be off the il we should have got some ab's to end off the year we already named it for overall so we do like to see that and we did get some ab's finally our biggest sample size of his career 106 games 13 homers seven stolen bases good on base percentage average could be a little higher but there we go finally finally and let's i know we said that earlier let's check out how acuna has been doing in over over his career and putting up mvp numbers 30 homers every year batting around 300 so hopefully with acuna dominguez and see how bobby witt's been doing too uh yeah stud numbers too whoa wait a minute okay it did say the yankees he was on the braves so we're heading into year number eight i want to say and dominguez is finally it looks like taking a hold of the starting job we'll see what happens hopefully we're on the yankees starting in the year nine and the and in classic yankees fashion in this franchise we get another outfielder jared kalanick from the rays but hopefully at this point kalanick's like on the back half of his career he should be like 35 years old so hopefully that's just a depth move we will see we'll, we'll see if we're even on the yankees honestly uh but it looks like every year they just keep signing us to a one-year deal let's see if that continued on to this year and we are back yeah just one-year deals what is what are the yankees doing si either sign this man or let him go my gosh they're holding him hostage here um but the outfield looks like it's acuna dominguez and kalanick and left okay he's only 30 that is a little bit older had a good year with tampa last year okay career um but i guess the yankees thought we needed them we'll see you at the end of year nine all right we are in the postseason as the two seed let's see for we had a big we had a over 100 games last year we got we got uh edward julian from the twins that's a big sign and we got a pretty good infield bobby wood on the il noel v look at this infield Look at these shortstops. Wow, we are loaded, actually. Uh, and there we go. 154 games. That is what I'm talking about, baby. 19 homers, 17 stolen bases, almost a 400 on base percentage. Thank you. There we go. This is what happens when you play the man. You get rewarded. So let's see how he does in his first postseason. Again, now he's the center fielder. We don't have to worry about fucking Jack Sawinski taking any ABs as we go 2-0 against Houston. 2-1, 2-2. Don't get knocked out by Houston. Don't get knocked back. We just got reverse sweeped by Houston. <laughs> Dear God. But let's see how he did in his one um first round 375 two homers this man put the team on his back or at least tried to and showed why he needs to be the centerpiece of the squad we have some excitement heading into finally heading into his 28 year or his 28 age season okay this is heading into year nine so we are approaching double digits for mr dominguez year nine let's see a nice juicy maybe 87 88 overall to start the year Oh my gosh, and look at this site. Garrett Cole retires, and so does Manny Machado. Both Hall of Fame inductees. Wow, that is pretty crazy. Who is this guy? Who the hell is this guy? Richie Valentin, 99 overall at 26. Nine year, $312 million. Who is this guy? We gotta, we gotta, we gotta stop. And we gotta, we gotta find out who Mr. Valentin is. Richie Valentin, 99 overall at 26 years old. So this man was in the majors at the age of 20. 
and had an insane year. He threw 220 innings in his rookie year. Look at his strikeout number. Oh my God. This man hasn't had less than 200 strikeouts since he's been in the league. Two seam curveball, change up slider splitter. He doesn't even throw that hard. He throws 90 miles an hour and he's striking out guys at this clip. Oh my life, 48 million and 30, 39. We, we gotta keep a track of this guy. When Dominguez's career ends, we're gonna see how Richie Valentine did because that is insane. A 99 overall at 26. Holy. Okay, and we signed a we signed another shortstop to a 32 million dollars a year deal. 25 is 96 overall. Who are, where are these pro these guys are getting i mean some of these computer players are just absolute beasts watch i have a feeling we're not even on the yankees now as we're loading up look i i i knew it i had a feeling i was like oh it's too good to be true the yankees are loading up as we sign with the white Sox four year 15 million dollar deal he got paid he got paid finally uh but damn the yankees have a squad building but that's all right we're tracking the Mr. Dominguez's career. We don't care about the Yankees in this franchise. So we have a new squad here. Let's head on into the regular season. We'll just take a look since we're on the page. But Luis McClure, dude, look at these guys. Okay, we still, yeah, what the hell are we doing? We got Luis Robert still and they signed us to center field. So I'm guessing we must be playing left or right. I would hope we got a Rosarini on left. Okay, we must be playing a right because they have no one in the majors and right. They got. We got four center fielders, so we should have right field locked down. Uh, we do have Michael Bush. We got a nice prospect here, Ronaldo Moda, 22 years old, 84 overall. Henry Davis, um, team's not that great. The rotation's absolute trash. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be an all offense lineup, but there's plenty of playing time. We should hopefully bat towards the top of the order, so we'll see how we do. All right, let's see at the end of year nine. Luis Robert isn't even on the oh my god Luis Robert dropped off what would be a 90 going into the year dropped eight points we were the third best player on the team let's see how we did with our first year with the White Sox and we put up a pretty solid year almost identical to the year last year we have the Yankees a um, little bit more doubles uh, but pretty solid year honestly uh, we should maybe be a 90 overall heading into next season we got a good we got a good little core here actually with Moda Rosas, the catcher, um, us, that's about it. <laughs> Hopefully the White Sox make some signings to head on into year 10. All right, year 10, and we were the best player on the White Sox, but we did lose a lot of talent. We signed Jose Batista, he's past his prime. Jack Leiter is, past, is like in his prime, I guess. So it's just us, this is our squad. Jason Dominguez looks like he is the captain of the team. So that's good to see, and the return of Trent Grisham. We can't shake him or Jack Sawinski. These guys just will not go away. We'll see you at the end of year 10. Okay, and we are the three seed. Surprisingly enough, we must have won our division. Uh, let's check that out. I'm guessing that's how we got into the playoffs. Um, we did win the division. Oh my God, look how bad this division was. We were 10 games under 500 and we sneak into the postseason. But hey, once you get in, you could do yeah, anything happens once you get in. So let's check out the squad here as we had an over. We did go up one point and we got Bill Moreno coming out of nowhere, our closing stud. Uh, but Dominguez, there we go, baby. Best year of his career, 309 average, 400 on base percentage. You'd like to see the homers up a little bit, but 50 doubles played in all but two games, 29 years old. There we go. And we'll see what we can do in the postseason here. All right, so we're playing our play-in game against the Blue Jays. Okay, we lost our two games against Toronto. That went quick. Uh, it'd be nice if I figured that out before doing that sim, but that's all right. And in to year 11. Fingers crossed we uh, are better than 10 games under 500. Mike Trout in the hall, finished with an insane year, 577 homers, 295 average. Could that be pretty accurate? Hopefully if Trout stays healthy. All right, let's see. We're we're, we're teetering on the 90 overall. We cannot break it. Uh, but, but this team's... I'm just going to flat out say it. We suck. We are not a good team. There's not much behind Dominguez. It's us and Moda holding it down. There's really not much. I don't have much hope for Dominguez's career. I mean, we're going to have to literally put the team on our back because there is no one, and I mean no one, on the White Sox. Okay, and the White Sox, we missed the playoffs. 
forget because who okay minnesota minnesota won the division they were the two seed i was, I was looking at the first round i was like who won the division i haven't seen the al central uh represented which honestly wouldn't surprise me because that get, division is garbage um but we finished again we're, we're not going anywhere we're going down in some sets they must have terrible coaching here on the white Sox. but again 158 games another solid year we're, we're staying status quo it looks like 180 hits 15 homers 14 stolen bases but the on-base pretend you love to see hovering around hovering around uh 400 but again there's just no one on the squad they're really uh, wayne Ro rosas made looks like the all-star team having a pretty good year for a catcher 14 stolen bases 21 homers so that's a nice piece with us and moda um but other than that moda's a stud other than that there's no one on the squad there's no one on the squad so that one ring we won with the yankees that might be it i oh god well real quick this is year i think this is year 12 yes we're heading into year 12 i don't know what to expect anymore i'll be honest with you the white Sox need to be well we might be approaching okay we got two years left I'm about to say we might be a free agent this year but we got two years left with this garbage squad and then maybe we can move to a contender okay and we we didn't even go up in an overall it, it must be the coaching the coaching i know has a huge impact on it again i don't want to touch anything i want to just let the game play out and we made zero moves in free agency we lost our stud catcher it looks like what is this team doing we just gotta we just gotta the only other piece the white Sox had other than jason dominguez was ronaldo moda and we just traded him our second best guy he's in a contract year which goes to show you they don't want to spend money which i guess is a good sign for us because that probably means they won't resign us but why the hell did they sign us in the first place whoa 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 whoa, whoa. stop the simulation did we just get traded to the nationals I have such a bad habit of skipping over just like trades thinking that they are that they are nothing let's see here the nationals acquired uh, jason dominguez for okay a bunch of prospects all right so we're on the nationals now there we go baby finally so they get rid of moda they get rid of us so one's gotta hope the nationals have a better squad than the white Sox. and just clap it up let's clap it up for jason dominguez this man he did go down one overall point which you don't like to see but look at the squad we just got traded into francisco alvarez spencer torkelson we're, we're on a playoff we got to this has got to be a playoff team a stud closer a good third and second baseman i, I hope to god we're the starting center we're the starting center fielder we're in a good spot boys we are in a great spot i'm excited to see how we finish out the year because we should be back in the postseason okay and we are the three seed we are the three seed in the postseason i hate having to do this but it is what it is and let's see how we did total for the year he's steady eddie again another year similar to what he's been putting up a little bit dip in average on non-base percentage and i hope that trend of overall going down is not permanent hopefully with the new coaching it changes a little bit but we're in the postseason so let's see how we do with the nats here maybe can we get our second ring as we go against the cubs we lose game one okay this is a tiebreaker there we go baby heading on into the alds against the cards as we take a quick two nothing lead can we sweep them there we go baby we sweep we swept the cardinals and we are in the nlcs against the giants let's see how we do two zip two one three one three two okay come on boys let's pick it up three three mckenzie gore against burt samuel and we win game seven against the royals oh my lord come on boys game one game two game three for ring number two for jason dominguez ring number two the washington nationals defeat the royals we just got traded onto a world series winner at the deadline the best possible move for jason dominguez's career you love to see it now we got to go check out how the postseason uh was for him i wonder if we won a checked out the awards maybe okay torkelson tore it up oh my gosh world series mvp spencer torkelson um deservedly so but let's take a look at these stats because i have a feeling we did pretty well ourselves maybe that's blind hump i had a feeling 309 average two homers if it wasn't for torkelson's five homers and 16 ribbies we probably would have won it jason dominguez has proven he is a postseason hitter in the first postseason we won the world series dominguez put up what was it 375 309 average in his first year with the nats this man is earning his second contract he's got one year left heading on into year 13 and 
this career's taken a turn for the better. I'm actually surprised. All right, to start the year. There we go. We have a squad. We are building a nice little... I, I don't want to say a dynasty because everyone's a little older, but we should make a nice little run at the postseason again. Team starting center fielder in our lab. Okay, we got Julio Rodriguez. Oh my God. The Nationals are all in on this postseason run, but you can't blame them. Luckily, they don't have a right fielder or really a left fielder, so we should still get get playing time. And we they must have signed us to another year, which we're not complaining about. We're in a good spot. We'll see you at the end of year 13. All right, and the national we missed the playoffs? How is that possible? We, we have such a good team. Wow, we finished six games under... I'm, I'm like legit shocked. We went from winning the World Series to missing the playoffs. How do we do, at least selfishly? Um, again, similar year. <laughs> this man is putting up the same year. There's no outliers at all. I mean, looking down the board, homers, everything. Stolen bases are down a little bit. On base percentage is down a little bit, which isn't good to see. His, his contact and power went up a little bit, but everything else went down. I am shocked. Uh, Torkelson's dipping, Alvarez is dipping, that's probably why, and Julio's dipping. Okay, our three best players are dipping. That's probably why we didn't make the postseason. But heading on into year number 14. We got a couple more years left before we start dipping as well. Hopefully it isn't this next year. Um, but let's see. Let's see where we're at. We keep doing this. I thought we weren't a free agent. I could have sworn it said two years. So I wasn't really worried about um, really checking free agency, if I'm being honest. But I think we just signed with the Pirates. <laughs> I think that's what I saw. So let's just confirm. Okay, they traded for us. Okay, it wasn't a free agent signing. So we will finish out the year to see who else they signed. And then we'll check out the squad, our new squad. Which is probably a good thing, honestly. It's probably a good thing they trade us to the Pirates because the Nats were kind of on the decline. At least with their top players. Uh, but let's hope we're in a better spot here with the Pirates. Um, and okay, we reunite with Anthony Volpe. Uh, not really. A lot of the talent is in their mid-30s. Um, not a great team. It looks very similar to the White Sox our first couple of years, honestly. Uh, but this is a free agency year, so this may be our only year on the team. Let's see how we do. Let's see how the, if we bring the Pirates some luck. And before I forget, I do want to check out how our guy's doing, Mr. Valentin. Was that his name? I'm wondering if he's on the Dodgers still. Whoa! How is this possible? This man went from a 99 overall at like 26 to dropping to an 84 at 31. He really didn't even have, I mean, this year he went 10 to 18, but he had a pretty good ERA and he's still at 200 strikeouts. He's still on pace for 3,000 strikeouts. I mean, look at the strikeout numbers are insane, but how did this guy drop off so much? Oh my God, I'm shocked. All right, back to our schedule, regularly scheduled programming. We'll see you in the playoffs, hopefully. Okay, and we do squeak into the playoffs as a wild card team. No, we, we won the division. We somehow won the division. It's probably a, a terrible division too. Oh no, we did. We did squeak in as a wild card. And the, wow, we had a really good year actually. Okay, let's check out the stats. So I'm assuming if if we're in the postseason and we had a great year, I assume we had a good year. And we had a pretty solid year, yeah. Again, nothing really changes with Jason Dominguez. Um, you know what you're getting out of him, which isn't a bad thing, but he has no outlier years, which we will take a look across the board. All these guys in double digit homers, double one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Almost a whole starting lineup had double digit steals and double digit homers. That's actually insane. Um, so let's see how we do in the postseason here. All right, kicking it off against the Dodgers in the wild card. We lose game one. We win game two. And we win game three to move on against the in interdivision Brewers. We smoke them in game one. Two zip. Okay, two one. Two two. The rubber game. Jesse Hearn against Rico Chasin. And we win. Oh my God. We were onto the NLCS against the Giants, who we did face. Who was it with the Nationals? Uh, as we go up 2 0, 3 0, 3 1. Okay. 3 2. This is eerily similar to the Nationals. Okay. There we go. We're in, the, we're in the World Series with the Pirates. Jason Dominguez back in the World Series for the third time in his career. Third different team, nonetheless. As we lose game one, we lose game two. Come on, boys. We got to rally. Oh, God. We're going to get swept, aren't we? Okay, we got a little bit of fight in us. Okay, we, we lost. Okay, we lost to the Twins, but that's right. We were in the World Series for the third time, our third different team. Let's check out the stats. Again, 
Dominguez has proven he is a beast in the postseason. Let's see if that lives up in... Oh, dude, look at this. He's insane in the postseason. Six homers, 300, 308 average. Literally carried the team. It was us and Murillo. Insane. Insane how good he is in the postseason. And I'm seeing a lot of red. I'm checking the stats, which isn't good. He's heading into free agency too. Let's see where we end up if we're back with the Pirates or if we're on our fifth team of our career. All right, I'm not sure. I think we're on the pirates still but let's see okay we are still on the pirates and we are dipping this is probably our last year here 85 overall 34 years old entering what is this year 14 uh let's see how we do at the end of the year let's see if we could repeat on the world series run all right we do miss the playoffs with the pirates which honestly uh, it's still a shocker that we even made it last year with the team we had and we are dropping boys but we were an all-star this year look at oh my god 336 average 420 on base percentage the found a youth at 34 years old in a okay not a contract year we are i guess locked in with the pirates but what a year for jd okay year 15 and i'm looking at the uh, i'm looking at the pirates roster and we must have gotten traded in the offseason so now i am curious where we ended up and we are on the reds we're the starting center fielder on the reds okay uh let's see we'll take a quick look at the roster since this is what oh Oh, I thought that was our team. And not good. Not good at all. So we'll probably sim out this year. I'm guessing we're going to finish the year at like an 80 overall. And then we might just sim out the rest of his career because it's going to be a lot of downgrades and demotions. And uh, this video is going to be long enough as it is. But let's see how we do with the Reds. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Maybe we'll have a good year. And we'll see how we do at the end of year 15. All right, checking in on the Reds. And we are dipping. We are dipping big time, boys. How do we do at least for the year? and home homers are up what are we what's going on here uh average is low yeah our stats are dipping i don't know how our homers are up i mean our power everything's dropping off uh we didn't even make the playoffs with the reds i think it's time i think it's time to just sim out the rest of jason dominguez's career we'll see where we finish up we'll do a wrap up and we'll do uh we'll check in on the accolades i guess i don't think we're gonna win a world series uh, I hate to say it. we we had our run we had our run but let's see how we finish up our career maybe we have a shot at the hall of fame I doubt it but let's see how we do all right I think we were gonna call it here I was uh, going through the rosters I didn't see Jason Dominguez he got me a little worried and there it is we are a free agent to begin year number let's see year 18 which is pretty crazy uh year 18 we weren't picked up in free agency so there's no point in even saying I mean, it's year 2040 uh but looking at his career as a whole two-time world series winner a proven postseason player which doesn't is a very underrated thing the game won't show it in my heart we we all saw it in the video proven postseason player and honestly look his last year he bet a 270 with a 340 on base percentage at 36 years old that's that's a, a great year any team would take that um honestly his best year was probably in his last year with the pirates uh 336 420 on base percentage crazy uh crazy year that year but he finishes it out, out of his career out his career 216 homers just shy of 2,000 hits uh 274 career hitter with 365 on base percentage that's a great career in my book um again two world series rings z's couple years with the yankees really killed us uh the first you know four or five years we probably should have stepped in earlier and cut jack sawinski uh we probably we definitely would have gotten 2,000 hits probably would have a, a good amount of homers and who knows maybe we would have progressed better Hindsight's 2020 overall jason dominguez great career hopefully it goes even better than this for the yankees sake and for his sake um but that's the video let me know in the comments down below who the next franchise or uh career sim should be uh i got a couple in mind and we also got some franchise videos and we, we'll probably mix in some diamond dynasty diamond dynasty videos as well i know it's been a minute since we've had those uh but let me know in the comments down below how you enjoy these videos as always guys thanks for checking out the video check out the channel catch you guys next time